A quick update about my Commodore 64 cartridge programming tool version 2 board. This board allows me to erase and write 2 megabytes in about 60 seconds and also read back 2 megabytes from the same cartridge in about 21 seconds. This board sits on top of a Raspberry Pi and has an edge connector which accepts pretty much any kind of cartridge although this board has been optimized for my current cartridge design it can also read and write other cartridge formats as well because it just emulates all of the signals on the Commodore 64. It basically has multiplex outputs for most of the address lines and all of the signals on the Commodore 64 cartridge port and also has of course 8 bits of input for reading data from the cartridge. It's still erasing and writing in the background there. There are some LEDs for status. There's a button that you can press to start the erasure and writing process as well. I'm just basically using banks of these MOSFETs. These MOSFETs allow me to drive higher currents at higher frequencies than some of the standard ICs that you can use for level shifting. So the Raspberry Pi uh, drives all of this erasing and writing and reading process. So it can run independently of a computer. You just put the binary file that you want to write onto a cartridge onto the Raspberry Pi and just let it write. I'm just taking out the cartridge there and putting it in my Commodore 64. It's a two megabyte cartridge, so there's plenty of space inside it. The actual cartridge itself, depending on the numbers that uh, you buy from PCBWay, for example, it should come out to about 10 or 11 US dollars for each two megabyte cartridge. This is a flash based cartridge as well, so you can write to it. Uh, it also has the ability to turn off the cartridge banks by writing a separate control register. There are 256 8K banks, so that there are actually two control registers. I'm just using the read functionality of the software here, which is running on the Raspberry Pi 5. And it takes about 21 seconds to read all 256 banks from this cartridge and pretty much any other cartridge as well. It will be reading at practically the same rate. Um, flash arrays and flash write speed, of course, will change depending on the exact flash chip which is used. But this flash can actually be written from the Commodore 64 as well. So there's a little extra programming bit which can be used to write bytes into the memory. The programming board itself, again, depending on the number of units purchased, will cost about 50 US dollars if you buy five at a time from PCBWay. So there we go. There's all of the MOSFETs up at the top. There's the edge connector and there's a board plugged into the programming tool. This is all open source and I'll be putting a link to the source code repository in the description below and also the pages where you can purchase these things from PCBWay. There's going to be options for a 4, 6 and 8 megabyte cartridge, maybe 16 and 32 megabytes as well, but the prices of those will increase of course. Take care, have a great day, evening or night, wherever you are.